Albert Einstein once had a go at engineering, and the result was pretty cool. No, no, not that type of cool. He designed a refrigerator, and believe it or not, it used a heat source to provide cooling. Let's have a look at how. Heat is applied to ammonia water solution in the generator. Moist ammonia gas boils off and flows to the evaporator. This contains butane ammonia liquid and vapour. Bubbling the ammonia gas into the butane ammonia liquid lowers the partial pressure of the butane in the vapour mixture. Partial pressure is the pressure a gas will have when other gases it shares a container with are removed. And in this case, the butane's partial pressure lowers enough to allow more butane to evaporate into gas. Because evaporation is a process that absorbs heat, the cool box around the evaporator lowers in temperature. But it doesn't stop there. Butane ammonia vapour flows from the evaporator to the condenser. Here, water from the generator absorbs ammonia gas. This increases the partial pressure of the butane vapour in the mixture and causes it to condense into liquid. The condensation process releases the heat picked up at the evaporator. Then, the ammonia water solution falls to the bottom of the condenser and returns to the generator to allow the cycle to repeat. Despite its clever design and inventor, the Einstein refrigerator was not a commercial success. <laughs>